Hi everyone, it's Rina aka Dead Sacred and today I'll be doing a quick painting of Nana Osaki from Nana <laughs> uh, and I'll be using my Boku Undo Sumie palette. So I've just started watching Nana, the anime series, and I love it so much. For those of you who don't know, Nana is a Japanese Josei manga series written and illustrated by Ai Yazawa. I'm so sorry guys, sorry! I fell in love with this series when I first saw that the main protagonists were women. I tend to watch a lot of shonen anime mostly because I love the action and stuff like that but what really bugs me about shonen anime is the fact that there's so much like fan service I can't take it there's so much like inappropriate behavior directed towards women and girls like every time I see it it's like a dagger to the heart so watching Nana was a great change for me I decided to keep this painting quite simple compared to my Spirited Away Shikishi painting. Those other Shikishi took such a long time. Can you guess how long they took? So they were completed over a course of two months. <laughs> so today I'll be doing some line art with some minimal shading. Okay, so the story of Nana is about two women of the same name who meet during a trip to Tokyo. It's crazy, but serendipitously, they become flatmates and besties. Isn't that lovely? Another thing that really, really attracted me to this anime was the fashion. Yes. <laughs> I haven't watched the whole series, but one thing is crystal clear that I really need to step up my fashion game, like <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I need to get my shit together. It's not even, it's not even funny. Like, oh my gosh. Every time I saw Nana in her like tartan, like Vivian Westwood inspired outfits, I was just like, I was gooped. Oh my gosh. I was just like speechless. I was like, oh my gosh. Ugh. So I have decided to like change my stance on fashion. In the words of the late great Andre Liantali, luxury or nothing. I, I I'm gonna try and like reduce my consumption of like fast fashion because most of the time when you look at it, it's not really that well made. Like I study tailoring and like once you study tailoring, you can see how rubbish all of like the garment construction is. You, you just oh my gosh. So I know it's going to be quite expensive, but I'm going to try my best to buy quality luxury items. And if I can't, I'm going to try and like tailor the fast fashion stuff to my body. So it actually looks good. So that's one thing I've taken from the few episodes that I've seen, you know. So initially I was quite um, worried about even putting this online like this 
line art thingy because I tend to overthink like I feel like okay so this is a question I need to I need to ask you guys do you guys feel like do you guys feel the overwhelming pressure to be perfect or is it just me I'm a really expressive artist, FYI. Expressive <laughs> is a kind word for saying messy and energetic. But sometimes I feel like I need to edit my art or I need to like overwork it for it to appeal to people. So that's something I need to like, I need to not be afraid of like showing my true like messy arty self. Yeah. Initially I was a bit like, worried about even drawing this character because when I draw characters I like to see like all of the source material I haven't watched the whole series so I felt a little bit limited to the source material because I don't really I don't really know the character as well as I should do you know what I mean I'm trying my best to keep the concentration of paint on my brush quite low and very watery. I wanted to capture the almost dreamlike quality that Shoujo manga has. You feel me? <laughs> I decided to make the background red because I only used that colour a little bit on the lips and plus red really did seem to be Nana's colour. I used the wet and wet technique on the background to create that dreamlike effect that I mentioned earlier. At this point I was contemplating as to whether or not I should like colour her skin in like tint it with that like um, blackish yellow colour and I don't know I just kind of felt like her skin was too white I just felt like her skin stood out a bit too much compared to all of the muted colours in the palette so I had to do something about it yo as soon as I put that paint on her skin I regretted it I was like oh, I've ruined the whole thing like what are you doing <laughs> I thought I ruined it, you know? I was actually starting to think she looked like a zombie. <laughs> I actually forgot that paint dries a little bit lighter. <laughs> what the heck? What's wrong with me? I forgot. So I spent like the whole time while I was painting regretting every single second of it. <laughs> guys i want to thank you so much for watching my video um the fact that you've spent your time with me means a lot thank you don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye